Home athletes, happy Wednesday. Got a good workout for you today. As you can see, we have some running and something called devil's press, which you may or may not be familiar with. Don't worry, I'm gonna uh, demonstrate it for you here in just a moment. So we have two 400 meter runs in today's workout. Uh, you should have that measured out already, hopefully. 200 meters down, 200 meters back from your driveway or wherever it is you're running. Should take about two minutes, give or take. Um, and I'll, go, I'll stop right here and say today's workout is on the shorter side. It should be a short, fast, high intensity workout, just to get that clear. Of your two runs, right, you have one at the beginning of the workout and one at the end, I would say maybe pace that first one a little bit, right, because you're going to be coming inside and doing these uh, aforementioned devil's press. But on that last one, you know it's the last thing you're doing, so yeah, go ahead and open up those, uh, those throttles a little bit and uh, go fast on that second and final run, only two runs today. I am going to make you do a few 200 meter runs in the warm up just to kind of get your engine primed, but only two uh, 400, 400s in the workout. So, devil's press. You got a set of 20 devil's press there in the workout. So, devil's press is sort of a combination, I'd say, double dumbbell snatch and a burpee, right? We're taking a burpee. There are burpees. There's a burpee in there. It's hidden inside. Um, and some dumbbell work. So, let me demonstrate for you. I have two dumbbells here. Whatever dumbbells you got today, I would probably go not too heavy. Although the original version of this workout is 20 devil's press performed with relatively heavy dumbbells, right? Uh, 50s for the guys and 35s for the women. So this is heavy for this movement, it's 20 reps. If you happen to have pretty light dumbbells, like I'm holding right here, what are these 12s? Um, then feel free and encouraged to up those reps a little bit. Like maybe you only have 10 pound or 15 pound dumbbells at home. Hey, maybe you should challenge yourself and do 30 devil's press or 25 or 30. You know, I mean, again, you want to get the workout in, right? So anyway, devil's press. So let's go ahead and we'll put the devil, what do we have with the devils? The devils, the dumbbells on the floor. We'll have them about shoulder width apart. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my hands down on the, on the dumbbells. I'm going to do a burpee. I want to make sure there's enough space on the floor between the dumbbells for my chest to touch, right? So hands on the dumbbells. We shoot the feet out. We drop the chest all the way down in between the dumbbells. We jump the feet up and we go up overhead with the dumbbells. Keys to performance here. When you jump the feet up, they have to be wide. They have to be kind of outside the dumbbells, right? So jump those feet out wide. And then when we go overhead, it's kind of a snatch, kind of a kettlebell swing. We kind of, we're going to drive those hips forward, right? We're kind of like a kettlebell swing. We don't want to swing the weights out though. So kind of like a swing and then kind of like a snatch. Try to keep those weights relatively close in. Don't swing them way out in front. So come straight up and then it's straight up overhead and right back down again to the floor. Jump the feet out. Jump the feet in wide and swing them up. You notice at the bottom there, it's a little beneficial to kind of get those dumbbells slightly behind the legs so you get a little more drive up overhead. All right, the devil's press. You're gonna love it. This is one of those movements we end up doing quite a few of during uh, quarantine, right? Because we had to do a lot of dumbbell stuff because not many of us had barbells at home. So during quarantine, there were a lot of those going around. And now we're bringing them back. It's a great movement. Anyway, so main workout today, 400 meter run, 20, maybe more if you have lighter dumbbells, uh, devil's press, and then 400 meter run. And then you'll see I have an optional finisher for you because it's a pretty quick workout. I'll give you some extra work. What this is, is an alternating on the minute. We have four stations. I want you to do three rounds. Feel free to do more if you want to, but minimum of three rounds. So you're going through that. Well, minute one, minute two, minute three, minute four, three times. Let me demonstrate. So you have your dumbbells. You have those already. How many is that? Now, first minute, I want you to do a 30-second squat hold. So we have weights on the shoulders. Sit down nice and low and hold. Try to keep those elbows up. Keep those knees pressed up. Keep the chest up. Belly tight. A lot of tension. Don't just relax down here. You're going to hold that for 30 seconds. Then you'll have 30 seconds of rest, actually. Right? So you wait till the next minute to start. And then you're going to do some jump rope. So here, 50 double unders or 75 single unders. I'd like you to be done by, let's say, the 45 second mark at the latest. I don't want you to spend the whole minute jumping, 45 seconds at the most, which if you're efficient at double unders, 
Uh, you should be able to get 50 in 45 seconds or less. Same thing with 75 single winders. Or if you want, you can just jump rope for 45 seconds. Doubles, singles, whatever. So cap yourself for 45 seconds on the second station. Third station, 50 feet, single arm, overhead walking lunges. So what we're doing here is we're going to go probably measure out 25 feet if you if you can do that wherever you are. So single arm, right? We'll go 25 feet down, right? With the dumbbell extended overhead. Switch your legs as you go. If you'll get to 25 feet, we'll switch to the other hand and you'll lunge back 25 feet. All right, 25 down, 25 back, switch hands in the middle. Um, and then finally, station number four. Station number four is probably the most challenging one. I want you to do as many push-ups as you can in that minute. This is the one that I actually want you to work pretty much for the whole minute. Um, as necessary, do knee push-ups. I don't like those super well. If you like them, go ahead. I'd rather see you elevate the hands if you need to. Put your hands on a box or a table or a chair or whatever it is. But looking to maintain a nice straight line through the body, right butt tight, belly tight, hips and shoulders move up and down at the same time. This is kind of the gold standard. I'd probably rather see you go a little bit slower, right? Just do one, one, one of like quality reps rather than trying to do a bunch of not so good reps. So focus on form always uh, first, right? Before worrying about how many reps you're doing. So you got a minute there. Let's say one minute of the max, good push-ups, right? Again, always focus on quality. All right, let me get you warmed up. Um, so we have, uh, I have three 200 meter runs in the warm-up today. Hopefully you have that measured out. About a minute down, about, or sorry, about 30 seconds down, 30 seconds back, about a minute total. Um, why don't you go ahead, pause the video, and do your first 200 meter, nice, easy pace run. Take two, one, go. And you're back. Um, we're going to do a minute of standing on this. Let me get the time to go. This first one is going to be Samson Lunge, Samson Lunge, Air Squat. One minute. So lunge, lunge, and Air Squat. Go. Just keep doing that. Lunge on the right, press those hips forward, reach those fingertips up to the sky, lunge, lunge, and Air Squat. All right, you keep going on that. We've got about 45 more seconds. We're gonna go a full minute on this movement, just because it's so good. Hopefully it's a nice, supposed to be nice weather. I'm doing this on uh, Tuesday. It's really nice today, a little bit chilly, but sunny. I'm hoping it's much the same tomorrow for your runs. Let's keep working on those Samson lunges and air squats. We have about 20 more seconds. Lunge, lunge, squat. I know you're looking forward to those devil's presses in the back of your head. You're trying not to listen to my voice. You're like, whoa, those devil's presses look awesome. Uh, 10 more seconds here. We're going to finish this up and then you're going for a second 200 meter run. Three, two, one. All right, pause your video. 200 meter run, go. All right, you came back. Excellent. Uh, next one, we're going to have 45 seconds of nice, slow squats. We're just going to work on squats 45 seconds. What I want you to do is just take your time. Go one, two, three, four, down the bottom, and stand. About four seconds or so. We're always focusing on one, two, three, four, setting those hips back and down, keeping those shins relatively vertical. Right? Trying to stay as upright as possible. I'm getting old, so I don't stay super upright, but I try my best. Hips back and down, hips back and down, full down, all right? Go a nice, slow, tempo air squats. You have 15 more seconds here. 10 more seconds for our slow air squats. We're gonna do one more 200 meter run right after this. Three, two, one. All right, pause your video. This is your third and final warm up run. Pause the video, go. And you're back. So the last thing we're gonna do is 30 seconds of jump air squats, right? So this one, three, two, one, we're gonna squat all the way down and jump at the top. All the way down and jump at the top. Jump at the top, keep going. You got 20 more seconds for jump air squats. And you'll be all warmed up and ready for that workout. And hopefully the extra credit stuff I give you too, the optional finisher. I highly encourage you to do it.
All right, we got three, two, one. Warm up complete. All right, athletes, get after it. Have a great workout. As always, if you ever have any questions, email me, morgan at rivet.fit. Or, well, I don't give you my phone number on YouTube, but uh, I know a lot of you, you have it and you can text me questions, requests. Just tell me you're out there. All right, have a good workout, guys.